Hi guys, welcome back to Kimberly's channel. I am Kima. Today we're going to be doing DIY art and this art is specifically for my bedroom makeover which you will see next Tuesday. I know I keep saying next Tuesday but you will really see it. You're going to see it one of these Tuesdays. In the next two Tuesdays you're going to see my bedroom makeover but today we're going to be working on some art. I purchased these two canvas printed photos from the thrift store. They were both like four dollars and I love them. They're big. They're 28 by 40. Great size. Great price. And today we're going to be making them over to fit the my design style. I am inspired by a lot of different artists when it comes to um, textured art so I'm gonna put a couple of the inspirations that I have so let me show you the supplies you will need now of course you will need your two canvases or however many that you're going to do for your project you're also going to need your caulk some joint compound or some speculine this is the dry deck joint compound goes on pink but dries white no mine goes on white and dries white. I don't know what they talking about. You're going to need you some putty knives. These are very cheap. You're going to need you some painter's tape as well. We're going to make a faux frame because I don't like canvas art. I like framed art. So we're going to do a faux frame and I'm going to be using this brown acrylic paint that I got from Dollar General. And I just also have a brush in a um, old Tupperware to pour the paint in. Let's get started the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go in with our painters tape and we're going to paint off how thick we want our borders okay usually canvas frames are a lot thinner but i'm going to make mine pretty thick because that's the vibe that i'm going for i use these pieces on the one i've already done so that's why they already pre cut and pre-used girl y'all know how i feel about reusing my painters tape i love with my own art because even cheap art is expensive child i go to ross and ross trying to charge me 50 dollars for canvas art all right we have our two sides now you want to make sure that you're being very precise with your taping because this is a border and borders are straight now that we have our piece taped off we're going to take our dex compound and we're going to start Doing art, honey. I ran out of the deck, so I went and grabbed my speckling compound that I already had, and I got a bunch of that, girl. So I'm going to be using the speckling compound to complete the rest of it, but this is the shape that it's taken so far. You can see they all are, like, coming in to each other. This one was me scraping the last little bit, so I need to go back in and make it a little bit more smooth. This is what it's looking like right now. I'm going to let it dry for a little bit and then we are going to peel the tape off because you have to peel the tape off before it dries completely or it will start chipping off. Make sure you peel the tape off after about 20 minutes. I like you in my bed but you keep me on red. Oh, everything is like a test. I better not text or I'll come off desperate. But if I lay down and I play dead and I stay dead. Seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago. But all will be okay. I move on each and every day. The past is where it stays, way back a year ago. I've changed for the better this time. I thought I would never be fine I strive just to say I'm alright And for the first time in a long time I'm alright I've seen a lot of change Been through a lot of pain Alright, I'm about to use this Rust-Oleum Studio Color in a white satin. This is the same color of my bedroom wall, so I think it'll be a great thing to put in the middle to kind of give like an illusion of just a, we'll see.
All right, guys, the canvases are done. They're ready to go up. But before I do that, we're going to do a little haul. I know how much y'all love to see what I spent my money on. So let's get into it. All right, so the first thing I'm going to show you guys is this Imperial wallpaper. I have three huge rolls of this vintage old school wallpaper that I paid $2 for each roll. And each roll is two rolls, 42 feet. So this three times 42 feet is a whole bunch of foots, girl. So y'all know that I love the French style, the antique style. So I purchased these two candle holders, wooden candle holders for 50 cents for both of them. I absolutely love these. They're so dainty and so cute. I also bought the sconce. Is this a sconce or is this a decorative pedestal shelf? I don't know. Either way, it's going to get painted white. I do love this gold detail. And I love the gold detail right here. But I do not like the detail on here because it kind of looks like snake skin. I purchased this tissue holder for the primary bedroom bathroom makeover. And it's like made out of metal. It's heavy. This doesn't move. I paid $2 for this. I think this is going to be great vintage type details in the bathroom i also purchased this like brass type metal dish i paid a dollar for this dish you can see the detailing on it it looks very medieval to me it looks vintage and if you remember my previous haul i purchased this candle holder and the haul before that i purchased this picture these match perfectly this don't match perfectly but it's in the same like family so i'm so happy about these all right so now i'm about to show you guys some art and some of these pieces aren't for me i'm selling to some of you some of you have reached out and you follow me on instagram and i show you what i'm out buying or what i'm seeing and if somebody wants it they inbox me on instagram and i'll get it for them and i'll send it to them this is the first piece that i purchased I mainly purchased this for the frame. I'm not so keen on the photograph, but I love the frame. This is the second oval frame I've been able to find in the last couple of months. It's so hard to find oval shaped frames. This next piece of art is for me. I love the painting. It's not a painting, it's actually a print. It's very smooth, but I like that it has some texture to it. Mine. I also purchased this photograph. It is called a family group by George Stubb 1724 to 1806 and you can see it has the green marble detailing along the frame which is very popular right now the green marble all right I have this print of another famous painting it's called sunlight in the garden by Henry Eugene A. Lee said seat girl I told y'all I'm a little dyslexic, so y'all gonna have to read it for yourself. It didn't come with a frame, I paid a dollar for it, and I think this is so beautiful. It does add great decorative and fanciful effect when you actually have art that's real art. All oh, art is real art, but things that you can be like, well, this was painted by Henry L. Lee Sattner in 1702, darling, you know? I also have this print, it is called formal garden Vivian flesh so I don't really care for the photograph I love the frame I paid three dollars for this the frame can you see the frame the frame is everything honey it's everything the frame the next couple of prints are from the same artist I haven't decided if I'm going to keep these or if I'm going to sell them as a set first we have this one and this is by a artist named Robert Ferber is he's not the artist he's actually a gardener at Kensington Palace in the UK and all of this comes from his garden I can't really make out who actually made these paintings or prints this one is called October as you can see and it has all of these beautiful flowers on it it's kind of like washed out so it's not very vibrant but it also adds color as well and I love the framed frame on it that's going around the picture 
I love that. This next one is called Spring. It's from the same gardener at Kensington Palace and it's $17.32. This is for spring. So this is very beautiful as well. This might be my least favorite one, but I still love it. Fruit isn't like my thing. It's, I haven't really gotten into the fruit art yet. This last one is a huge one and it's called Autumn. It has all the beautiful autumn floral and fauna going on on it. Oh my God, this is big and beautiful. All right guys, that's it for the haul. Let's go upstairs so I can show you these DIY pieces of art that we did. All right, I'm about to hang up this picture up here on this wall. Please ignore the lamp. The lamp is about to be moved. Let's do it. First, I'm gonna measure out how far I want it to come from my arch and how far I want it up. Then I'm gonna nail my nails in and then I'm just gonna hang the picture up. Oh my god you guys I had so much fun making this I hope you were inspired to go out to the thrift store and get you some canvas and make it over into your own design style I really want you to please subscribe I hope you like this video leave me a comment and I will see you guys next Tuesday I love you for watching.